to see that take hold, it wasn't just the Iowa fans. It wasn't just a sold out farmer. Um, she became a real So fasten your seatbelts, everybody, because we're about to take part in some intense WNBA action on a historic evening. Books Caitlin Clark's Indiana Favor simply blew everyone away with a ridiculous record. She had 200 assists and 500 points. Quicker than any other league player, yes, history have you heard me at all, any athlete ever. But the really shocking part of this particular triumph had a difficult tablet to take when the fever a hard defeat against the Minnesota Connections, please take note of this. The Connections are guided by nobody else except Cheryl Reeve, coach who did not include Clark in the Olympic squad. Here is when things start to get intriguing during the post-fame interview Reeve, who had kept quiet about Clark. Prior to offering some recognition, the rookie's passing and speed, in my opinion, are her two finest assets I am aware of that the third logo is most likely the hotter section. However, the speed and the passing is what, to me, sets her apart as special. Keep in mind that this sudden action suggests a significant change in the league's perception. Clark has starts that make her an MVP candidate. Making even her most ardent detractors sit, get up and grab and serve that this wasn't your typical guys. Let's discuss about personal season games. Drama broke records and caused major inquiries about one of the biggest, the league's most promising rookie class ever. The scene was more than perfect. Ideal a target center, the residents of the Minnesota Lynx saw its largest regular season crowd. Guessing is not awarded. Why Clark is an unquestionable star attracting admirers and accelerating the fever linkages, the showdown was a roller coaster of emotions. Concluding with the home side winning 9080. Despite the defeat, Clark's work was astounding in every way. She wrapped finished the game with 23 points, 8-5 rebounds, and five assists figures that solidify her place among the league's best rookies. But things weren't always easy sail for Clark had a difficult beginning. Obliging in her first eight shots, but like many outstanding athletes, she adapted and recovered. That's the kind of mental roughness that you like seeing in a novice on players on the link side, such as Nafisa Kerr and Kayla McBride, sent their identical losing by 31 and 19 points. Respectively, I must commend the Lynx defense. Furthermore, they were able to confine Clark at pivotal times and force some novice errors. This game resembled a microcosm. Thus far, this fever season, glimpses of Clark's genius eclipsed by the team contradictions. The loss raises additional as they struggle to exert pressure on the fever, remain in the playoff competition. But let's enlarge away for a moment, Clark has a significant influence score outside the box. Her attendance at the Dres Lynx game through a record-breaking crowd, demonstrating her immense celebrity power packing from the viewpoint of the league Clark embodies a whole new phase of visibility, as well as her arrival as time to coincide with an increase in WNBA interest was indicative of with increased social media use and TV ratings. Buzz this establishes Clark a special role. She's more than simply a gifted participant she may be the face that could raise the bar for the sport in the eyes of Clark's fever is both a boon and, on the one hand, a difficulty with a player of her quality is unmatched by any franchise. The other, there's need to construct a competitive group around her. Therefore, her not all potential is wasted in mediocrity speaking about skill, seasons. Let's take a vacation. Defining elements of Clark's game, and thus unique matchup so unique initially that 200 assists and 500 points mark utterly crazy. She succeeded in only 22 quicker than any other player in the game's history of the WNBA to put in context legends such as Sue Bird and Diana Terassi takes a lot longer to reach such figures. Their first seasons in terms of the influence, the figures don't lie about attendance. The target center was crowded with 19,000 supporters. Season record for the regular season relationships that significantly differ from there, around 7,000 on average per squad, every game sensible. The fever is now at following this defeat. 13-16 on the bubble for the playoffs, it demonstrates that even utilizing Clark's personal brilliance squad, achieving success is an ongoing process. Lastly, it's important to remember that notwithstanding Clark is still averaging an outstanding eight. 
three assists and 17. Nine points this season, those figures place each game her in the discussion, not just for most improved rookie of the year, but maybe MVP taking into account Clark's performance even in loss has significant ramifications for her, the WNBA, and the FIBA were overall. This game confirms her for Clark rank among the most significant recent rookies in NBA history bright future ahead. But that will rely on her ability to adjust to defenses that are growingly preoccupied with getting rid of her down. Nonetheless, it also entails the accountability of assembling a formidable squad around her. The season of the fever indicates work has to be done on the front end. Choices made by offices in the next years in the draft and via free agency both be essential to utilizing Clark's potential. Christy Sid, the head coach, is nevertheless, despite Clark's individual talent, is still in high demand. Battling to get recognized as a playoff team, which begs the issue of side tactics and her capacity for maximize the potential of both Clark, and it wouldn't be the remainder of the roster startling to see the coaching adjustments personnel if the group's output doesn't in this phase of Clark's career and a pivotal moment in WNBA history. What occurs next might influence the course of professional basketball for women in the US for many years, maybe decades, as we consider how Clark has affected the WNBA. There are many important issues that transcend the mere performance on the court first. We're seeing the beginning of a whole new era for the WNBA Clark is not just a gifted athlete, but also a media phenomena that attracts attention to the league in previously unheard of ways. But this creates a difficult query, is the WNBA prepared to seize this opportunity or runs the danger of depending too much on a second, a single star, how will Clark's success influence his future expectations? Novices, her standards were so high that it may be unattainable for the majority of gamers joining the league, may result in excessive strain on potential third. What is the lesson from Clark's case? About Talon's present situation growth in women's basketball during America's M. Rick Reese says that maybe a widening divide between the top how do players and the league as a whole, can this be resolved to maintain equilibrium? A thrilling contest for the fourth the Indiana Fever predicament begs some inquiries. About the WNBA hierarchy, may a little market franchise maintain a celebrity such as Clark in the long run, or will there be an even increased skill concentration in big commercial teams? Lastly, the energies of the Caitlin Clark affect us to consider what success really means. Among the WNBA's standout players numbers the capacity to improve the group effects on the popularity of the league, or a blend of each of these elements are difficult questions to respond to. Yet, they are essential to the future of the NBA as Clark carries on with her exploration in that she's not simply playing hoops in this league. She is questioning our assumptions about what's feasible for women in professional athletics. Clark could not only be a remarkable athlete, she may be the catalyst for the WNBA's evolution, then try something new. The actual exam won't just based on Clark's performance on the court, nevertheless. How the league handles the opportunity and challenge she offers, however, the adventure really doesn't finish here. We've only just begun this journey. That may revolutionize basketball for women if you're not already watching. For eternity, every Indiana Fever game begins right now is an opportunity to see history in the expressing your opinions on Clark's performance. Where the fever will go in the future, the WNBA is about to explode on social media. Forums for basketball or buddy chats in this discussion, your voice counts. Recall that you are more than simply a passive as a spectator. You actively participate in this developing narrative, your deeds participation and your ardor for the game assist in determining how women's basketball, I appreciate you watching and see you later.